Welcome back, guys, to episode 25 of Thomas Marcus Career Mode. It's time to become a double champ and fight Robbie Lawler, the ruthless one. The Blackburn. Super fight. Okay, I'm not doing that one no more. Body crane kick. I like the body crane kick lead hook. Ah. Do this one. Just on accuracy. I really want to see good punches. There we go. Touch him up. Way to push it. You really touched him up out there. I want some heavy hands for this fight. We don't need escape artists against Robbie. Switch it out for heavy hands. Lead uppercut. Level four. Spinning. Spinning back fist. I'll probably throw that once or twice. Any other moves I want from here? Boxing combos, Celtic cross, the Celtic cross, uh, lead body knee, lead flying knee, roundhouse kick, front kick, lead leg kick, lead front body kick. Uh, nah, we don't need none of these. Crap. Okay, we're definitely going to need to... We're definitely going to need to go through physical therapy for this fight. Uh, we'll save it for the last week though. I'm just gonna cut this out. Okay, we didn't get hurt. Time to fight the ruthless one. Height, fight height's very high. Still red trunks. It's become 25 and 0.
some paths must eventually cross. And as two of the greatest fighters in the UFC kept dominating their opposition, it was inevitable that this moment would come. When the octagon door closes for tonight's super fight, the talk will be over. And the entire sports world will come to a halt. This is no ordinary fight. It's a battle between two champions, willing to put their own divisional crowns on the line to prove themselves worthy to be on top. And when the dust settles, there can only be one winner, a king with two crowns. Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight Gee, the championship the tape. fight. Lawler is 15 years the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. You ready? All right, here we go. This should be good. Five rounds if needed to determine the UFC's welterweight champion. All right, let's see if he can get off to a good start here tonight as he tries to become a simultaneous two-division UFC. Oh! Oh, oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? The champ. Oh! oh hang on. The big right hand. Oh, very nice. Nasty combinations here. How about that shoot? So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. Blocks that strike. Effective with the jab here, Joe. They're going after it quick here. He's blocking almost all the shots. Come on, Robbie. Got Robbie. Beautiful reversal. Three minutes now, round one. Right hand. Now he's in full guard. My Robbie. All right, hammer fist here by Marcos. He's back to his feet. He's going to get up. No, you don't, Robbie. Lawler gets touched by that leg kick. Is oh, he tackled like it. Did he hurt him. a little bit. Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. And now starting to Ouch, Robbie. Oh, excellent feint with the kick. It appears that cut is getting worse. Oh, very nice. Man. I didn't even mean to do that one. Ouch. Body kick, look at that. Knee to the body. There's a single attempt. Take down attempt late, and it's good. Come on, Robbie. 20 seconds to go in round one. Lawler gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Five whoa, minutes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Definitely won that round. There's no way they give that to Robbie. Round two on the way. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start. Oh! Oh! That's a fight. It's over. Dang. Landed a hard kick for the knockout. Dang, Robbie. Sorry. Bonuses late in the night, 
A huge kick for the knockout victory. Knew I like throwing those cartwheels. Went to sleep. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Right on the button. Well, stand and cheer. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Liliotis called a stop to this contest at 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and We did it. Well, get that man a second place. Put a belt over his shoulder. He has become a two-division UFC champion here tonight. Rarified air. Only a select handful of guys in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship have won a belt in two divisions, and you can add his name to that list. Megan Olivi, and this is your UFC Minute. Remember when we were telling you that you shouldn't miss this past weekend's monumental super fight? I hate to be that person, but we told you so. The fans were buzzing, the world was watching, and the Honda Center in Anaheim, California was at capacity last weekend when the UFC lightweight champion challenged the welterweight title holder in an epic super fight. When it was over, he had silenced the critics and made history as one of only a handful of fighters to become a world champion in two weight classes. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Legendary contract. That'll do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, like, subscribe, and share. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.